Hey, welcome back guys. Today we are talking about dry sanding versus wet sanding. So uh, a lot of people ask me about wet sanding and they think that they need to be wet sanding everything, which they don't. Uh, well, everything in terms of finishes at least. And there are some situations in which wet sanding is better. Wet sanding makes it easier to sand. It's more lubricated. Uh, and in some cases it keeps your paper from jamming up so much. So if you got a wet dry paper, your paper won't load up really if it's wet. Uh, some of the, the old school guys actually use a drop of dish soap in their water too when they're doing that to help lubricate it. I don't think many people do that anymore. I've tried it, it hasn't really helped, but it's an option. The thing is, uh, I get a lot of people asking whether they should be wet sanding on guitars, obviously. And uh, I use wet sanding when I'm doing metal work or when I'm painting plastic or anything like that. And it's a nice option and I really like wet sanding, but I don't do it on guitars because they're made of wood. And what worries me there is that I'm going to get water into the holes and, and the, the cavities and it's going to seep into the wood and cause expansion. The risk isn't very high, but there is a risk as far as I'm concerned, and that's why I don't use it for that. Dry sanding is perfectly adequate. If you're using no load paper, there's no reason for it to be a problem. Uh, so I just dry sand in those circumstances. If I were doing a car or something, I would absolutely be wet sanding just because it's a little bit easier to, uh, to get that glide and, and get things smooth quicker. But there's no reason that you need to wet sand. You can still dry sand a guitar and get a perfectly good polish that way. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below or send them to me directly so that I can keep making these videos. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.